I think what we do well at Adams State University in our theater program is that we offer quality education in the classroom as well as the opportunity to practice what you're learning. We are an academic program, but we also are producing theater. We do seven to nine productions a year, plus special programming from theater and social change work to improv work. Consistently, our freshman class or our first year student group are auditioning and being cast in both student-directed productions and main stage productions. Uh, so you can have four years of experience right off the bat. We believe strongly that the more you know how to do, particularly when you learn on the undergraduate level, the better you are setting yourself up for a future, for grad school, for professional work, for education if you're going into teaching. We've had stage managers and house managers who are working professionally now that uh, came to us originally as actors, but discovered something about some aspect of theater that they really enjoyed. So yeah, I was Robin Hood in Robin Hood. That was definitely probably my most physical role because uh, there were two sword fights as well as a staff fight, so it was pretty big. It was kind of fun to be able to act as well as build the stage because you could kind of get a sense of how everything was. So when I had to climb out the window of the tower, that was, it was a little, you know, I had more trust in it than <laughs> if anybody else would might have just done it. We have a large proscenium theater, but it's a real jewel box in terms of audience. Only 220 seats are in the theater, but the theater itself is beautifully equipped, state of the art. This is where the faculty produce their shows. The students produce their shows and they have their own season in the Xbox, which is the experimental theater. It's a black box theater, it seats 117 in the round. And here, students get a completely different acting experience because they're very close to the audience. We have a scene shop the size of the stage itself, beautifully equipped with uh, power tools that our work studies come in and, and build the scenery, paint the scenery as well. We've got a costume shop that's second to none. It's actually spacious. And sound, as you can see, is right up here. We have an improv troupe called The Lost and Found. Uh, it starts in an improvisational acting course that's offered every spring, and from that has come the traveling troupe, the weekly meetings, performances elsewhere, uh, trips to Chicago, um, all because students wanted an improv troupe at Adams. Well, the improv troupe has probably been the most important thing that's happened to me in my career here. I don't know, I already knew that I wanted to like make people laugh for a living, but it just really further solidified that that's the only thing I could really ever do and be happy. <laughs> With theater, you definitely, you can put passion in that. You can put creativity, imagination. You can take Romeo and Juliet and either place it, you know, back in its day or further. You can put it in the now, you can put it in the future. You can, you can change it, you can do a lot of stuff with it. That's what really drew me to theater is the fact that it's like, oh, you know, I never thought about it that way. That's kind of interesting. Laughter seems like it fixes everything to me, um, and it's my favorite thing to do, and so I like to help other people do it. <laughs> we try to make the work that we do relevant for the community in which we live. So one of the big traditions we've established since 2004 is that we've done an annual family production. And since uh, 2008, we have teamed with the local homeless organization. And we have done our opening night performance as a fundraiser. And every year for six straight years, our opening night performance has netted over $50,000 a year that benefits directly the homeless shelter. It's about as concrete a way for our students to see that what they do as artists can make a difference, a positive difference in their community. I think what drew me to this place was that I didn't feel like there was a glass wall between me and Dr. Taylor when I was talking to him. They do a really good job in making you feel like they want you to come here. What teaching at Adams State gives me is the opportunity to know my students, to work with them, to create relationships that last beyond their four years here. Adams State, this is absolutely amazing. I didn't have a problem choosing this as my school that I wanted to go to. 
and the classes are small too so it's not like you won't get the help that you want and I and I just love that that was one of the main reasons why I did come to Adam State I love watching this nascent talent just grow and become all of a sudden there's something that clicks maybe it's in their sophomore or junior year something just trips that switch in their head and suddenly they're in the moment from day one, you're in charge of your education. You're in charge of what the four-year experience is going to be like for you. You won't be just a number to a teacher when you come here. You will have a name and you will have a voice.